Governor of the Hiran region, Ali Jaita, announced plans to impose a siege on areas controlled by al-Shabaab in the region. The new move marks a significant escalation in his efforts to rid the region of the terrorist group's influence. According to Jaita, the decision to impose a siege on al-Shabaab-controlled areas was prompted by the group's continued attacks on civilians and government officials in the region. The governor's announcement has been met with mixed reactions with some residents expressing concern over the potential impact of the siege on their livelihoods. Others, however, have welcomed the move, saying that it is necessary to bring an end to the years-long conflict in the region. The governor's announcement comes just months after the Somali government declared a state of emergency in the country, following a surge in violent attacks by al-Shabaab. The terrorist group, which has links to al-Qaeda, has been fighting to overthrow the Somali government and establish an Islamic state in the country since 2006. Despite repeated efforts by the Somali government and its international partners to defeat the group, Al-Shabaab remains a potent threat, carrying out frequent attacks on civilians and government targets. It remains to be seen how effective the siege will be in weakening the group's hold on the region. But for now, the governor's announcement marks a bold and decisive move in the ongoing fight against Al-Shabaab. Reporting for Dalsin TV News, I'm Ahmed Abdirashid Noor Gesik.